Well, Chekhov's final masterpiece, The Cherry Orchard, comes to life in Auckland Theatre Company's most recent production. It is often cited as one of the best plays ever written, and it's been described as a tragic comedy and a laughter through tears tale. Actors Maria Walker and Alison Bruce join us now to tell us all about it. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you for having us. So, Thank Alison, you. what is this play all about? What makes it a tragic comedy? Um, well, what, because it's like real life, really, I guess, is why it's like a tragic comedy. You know, but, so uh, Chekhov, who wrote it, was a doctor, so he observed people all the time, and actually people are bonkers. We're all quite... <laughs> You're not that We're, right, quite, we're, we're that. actually all disasters, really, aren't we? Well, and so much. That's, what's ha that's why it's funny. So our big story is quite sad, but mm. the everyday occurrences are actually really funny. Yeah, so that's why it's a tragic comedy. A thing. And this adaptation of it, I guess, Maria, mm -hmm. has been localised to New Zealand, hasn't it? Yes, that's right. Albert Bouts and Tainui Tukiwaho uh, worked alongside Colin McCall, the artistic director, to uh, posit this, so to speak, in basing it around 1975 in New Zealand from the English translation of the Russian play. Right. Uh, so we do posit uh, some interesting facts that happened historically around that period for New Zealanders, um, i.e. the bastion sort of uh, hikoi yes. uh, and also the resurgence of the Māori languages sort of slightly mentioned. So why was it 1975? Why was that time chosen in particular? Well, um, I why? think it, I, th I think so <laughs> incidentally in the play there is uh, somebody who wanders onto the property through it. And I think and they went, well, the land march is around that time of year, the, the hikoi to parliament, and on the way back, this person could be wandering through the property, and so you, we get a bit of um, context then. Just through an incidental character, we get to learn a bit more about what's happening on. And also it made it, because it is about the changing of, of the guard, and so more than half the cast is Māori, and it is kind of about um, this old aristocracy or squatocracy, the people who took this land this through their inaction and inability to do anything mm. but lie about, ha lose it. And, and then the people whose land it always was take it back. It must so, be a real fine line balancing the comedy, I guess, and the, and the serious messages of the play. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, Anton Chekhov makes no more judgments on his characters and we're all innately flawed. We're stupid, we're smart, we're clever, we're intelligent, and the mould of these characters together, 13 plus a dog, plus a dog, oh, oh, yes, good. Oh, God, steals, a dog. Steals, steals all the scenes, show, uh, steals yeah. a lot of my scenes. <laughs> yeah. um, how we all communicate, how we laugh, and it's really languid, and each act has a certain sort of feeling under the skin, and it's just cry one moment, so close to laughter, and it's just, it's tragic. Good. So why do you reckon beautiful. it's been called one of the greatest plays ever written? Like what makes it so special? I think it's such a great observation of people. And wow. I mean, I think generally, I think it's thought of as a tragedy, but mm. Chekhov intended it as a comedy. Um, yeah, I think it's just because the people are real, and at the time, it was the first time anyone made theatre that was just like looking at yourself on the stage wow. rather than... Uh, broad characters. Mm. Well, speaking of the characters, talk about Lulu. You play Lulu? Yeah, Lulu. So she in the original uh, original is Ranyevskaya. So she is um, her, she has uh, lived on the cherry orchard for generations. She loves it. Uh, but she is somebody who, when the proverbial hits the fan, she moves away. So she has had some major tragedies and she's moved away and then when something else happens, she moves again. And finally she's gone, OK, I'm coming back. But she comes back to a place that is completely in debt and is about to be sold. Right. And despite particularly TK's character going, hey, why don't we do this? Let's do this. She can't actually face taking any action. So she's someone who's totally ruled by her heart, mm. doesn't really... He doesn't think... Want to very... almost digest the reality of her situation where she's lost everything that she owns purely by living this beautifully extravagant, wonderful life. Wow. Mm. Yes, so that's, a... It's that's a tragedy. That's, that's tragedy. Lulu. That's Lulu. That's Lulu. And you play Wikitoria. Wikitoria, originally written as Varia, uh, who, depends on how you want to look at it, she could be a love child or a product of an affair. I choose to... <laughs> look at her as a love child oh. <laughs> um, and she's just a self-appointed housekeeper because lovely Lulu is just globetrotting but specifically in Paris and she's like a doctor daughter right eh? like yeah so, yeah I'm sort of part of the furniture 
Well, I'll tell you what, you're really selling it to us. Thanks. Sounds intriguing. And, you know, having you two here, we know you are in the cast, but what other actors and actresses oh, have man. we got? So it's full of kids. So Ian Newton. Yes. So oh. all he has yeah. to do is walk on stage. He's an open like 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 Totally. He's like that. He's amazing. A He's amazing. Um, Rowdy Paratini. Oh. Uh, TK. Heaps. There's heaps of people. In it. <laughs> and do you do you have any of you have you performed Chekhov anywhere before, or is this the first time for you? I've done first play three. This is my third time. Wow. I and, can't and remember anything about the other times. <laughs> this is my first. Yeah. And does like it feel like, is it something quite special? Like, do you feel like you've you've got something mm. in your acting chops if you've done if you've performed in a Chekhov play? I mean, it's definitely sitting in my skin. Like, I feel like I'm more resilient and stronger and braver because of the writing. It so asks it does of you. it does ask something of you, and it, there's demands on the actor for sure, and we're just rip roaring 100% laughter every day. It's just beautiful being mm. in this space with all of these amazing actors. Wow, and it's Sounds beautifully awesome. scored, so it's like yeah, it's like a piece of music in terms yeah. of how you. Yeah, oh, fantastic. And I've, I've seen TK on the back of a few buses yeah. around town oh, as well, yeah. so it's, he's everywhere. it's gorgeous. looks like it's going to be incredible to watch. Oh, hey guys, thank you so much thank for you. joining yeah, us. Have a great awesome. season. Cheers. Cheers. Auckland Theatre Company's production of The Cherry Orchard runs from tomorrow until 26th of June. You can check out their website for details. Who would not want to go and see that group of Kiwi actors?